the terrifying message of Michael the Archangel given to Luz de Maria. A terrifying message is revealed, conveyed by a celestial being that has kept watch over humanity from the beginning of time, in a world beset by uncertainty and disorder. Michael sends a message that is both compassionate and urgent through Luz de Maria. It is a message that stands out in the crowd, grabbing our attention and pleading with us to act. We must prepare for the unsettling facts that lie ahead as we delve deeper into this prophetic revelation. It is a reminder to stop and think, to reconsider our decisions, and to believe in the transformative power of faith. Come along with us as we set out on this spiritual trip where the words of Archangel reach beyond the confines of time and space to awaken our souls and lead us along the path of salvation. You are currently experiencing a highly dangerous period of spiritual ambiguity for the offspring of the woman clad in the sun with the moon at her feet. You are always being pursued and attacked by the old serpent known as the devil or Satan, which causes you to lose faith and inflate your human ego. In order to prevent you from announcing that you are divine property in front of a society that is engulfed in its insanity and indifference at this pivotal time, the period before the warning, the forces of evil have muzzled you. You lose touch with divine love when daily life causes you to forget that you were sent to proclaim that you are a child of our King and Lord Jesus Christ and of our Queen and Mother of heaven and earth. For you to avoid going down the incorrect pathways, having clarity of thinking and a heart receptive to divine affairs are fundamentally crucial. It is important for you to fight your own ego at this time, which is telling you to go in the opposite direction from where you have been called. Beloved followers of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, be aware that events are coming that will trap the church of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. These events will attempt to deceive you spiritually so they may take you as booty. The church is split between those who adhere to the church's magisterium and others who portray a false deity who is completely modernized and who allows sin. The vast majority of people are not spiritual. Therefore, they cannot see that this is a period of intense spiritual battle. Instead, they are expecting things to get back to normal in the near future. Oh, you crazy, stupid beasts. You cannot resume your previous way of life because the events have taken place and are affecting everyone. The need is urgent since diseases are spreading throughout society and getting worse. You are in the muck and the only people who will get out of the muck are those who are aware that they belong to God and are His. Your devotion to God is continually being put to the test as each day presents its unique challenges. You never know when it will be your last day. Death is continuously hovering over life as viruses multiply and get more aggressive. Don't hold grudges. Be forgiving. Don't be distressed and don't give up on hope. Be transformed, altered, converted, unique, and loved. The architects of such enormous evil take pleasure in the global population decline since it serves to terrify people into accepting the beast's mark. You must pray immediately for one another and for all people. You were delivered from sin by our King and Lord Jesus Christ, but you still have to work for eternal life. The economy will collapse, and in the face of famine, the craziness will rule the planet. Please get ready. Do not be afraid. The people of God are empowered by divine love. I bless you and defend you in conflict. Those who follow our Lord and King Jesus Christ, human beings, as the filial souls of this most holy mother, should have this loving surrender, this unwavering yes to the Father's will. They should shine like her, like the rays of the sun, radiating light towards their brothers and sisters, eradicating the darkness that is advancing upon humanity as evil approaches anticipating the appearance of the Antichrist. But when that time comes, you'll witness strife in all facets of human existence, a struggle that, despite what most skeptics would tell you, is primarily spiritual. Consider your brothers and sisters' humanity when faced with those who are torturing them. Do not disregard your neighbor's suffering. 
The mystical body of our King and Lord Jesus Christ is being torn apart by the power that evil has granted to some of the powerful who have long since yielded to its evil tentacles. This betrayal of some weak members of the mystical body results in new lone martyrs, but they are not abandoned by Christ, the head of the mystical body. God's children, I'm calling you to take a look within. You must have a fraternal relationship. You must not only respect one another's differences, but also exhibit humility in order to continuously forgive one another. If a creature has humility, they will be able to realize their weaknesses via intense inner labor and overcome them by asking for divine assistance. Pray, pray, partake of the Eucharistic meal and enter humbly into what fraternity ought to be for you. Children of God, you are the marching column, the column that never stops and instead fortifies itself to keep moving forward without wavering. The people of our Queen and Mother should not be afraid of what has been revealed or the unfolding of the prophecies. Rather, they should be afraid of offending the Most Holy Trinity, disobeying God's law, rivalries, and offending their brothers and sisters. Awake, don't go to sleep. As people become less charitable to their neighbors, and as evil progresses, there are more crimes committed. Awaken from the stupor you are experiencing. In order to capture them and sow strife among God's people, evil takes advantage of those who are asleep. Keep an eye out for international coalitions. This is a warning for humanity. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, do not wait until heaven reveals to you specifics of what it permits you to know so that you may be ready as humanity may descend into anarchy before the fulfillment of the prophecies arrives. The pace of what has been announced is indicated through signs and signals. Be ready, convert, and be vigilant. You are God's children, and my legions guard you. Do not give up. You should prepare for the winter by gathering, just like the ants do. Increase your trust, and my legions will supply for you by divine order if you don't have enough for storage. Sacred hearts, people, do not be afraid and hold fast to your faith. My legions will guard you. Please accept my blessings. We find ourselves at a fork in the road, having to decide whether to heed the warning and work towards change, or to turn a blind eye to the impending dangers as the echoes of Michael, the Archangel's message resound throughout our souls. May this heavenly insight be a spark that sparks a global movement towards compassion, justice, and spiritual enlightenment, a catalyst for awakening. We would like to hear your views on this message in the comments section. Also, like and subscribe to the video to see similar content like this. Thanks for watching.